Danny Murphy, you'll remember from training here in the UAE, but he's now assistant to Kieran Cotter, and they had a big win yesterday with Strong Johnson in the Rockingham handicap. Hi, Danny, and congratulations. You still celebrating? I'm still celebrating, uh, Laura. Yes, we are. It was a great win for a small stable, and um, since I came back to Ireland, since I left Dubai, which I couldn't compete, I have to say, couldn't compete over there, so um, I just said, here, I'll come home and see what we can do, and I've joined with my school friend, uh, Kieran Cotter, and we're flying, thank God, we really are. You really are flying, aren't you? Eight wins, I think, last year, and three so far this year, and you say you're a small stay. Well, how many would you have in at the moment? We, we have 18 in at the moment, uh, Laura, but we are just starting, believe it or not, at a barn for another 20 horses because we're getting unindated, thank God, with horses. And um, I didn't really push so far because we let our winners do the talking. And now I'm going to be, I'm glad you uh, called me because I still have my old Farouk racing um, in, in Dubai, all the owners, and I'm saying, lad, support us with a couple of yearlings maybe this year because I think, unfortunately, with the uh, virus and everything, that there's great value now for horses in Europe anyway, you know. Yeah, I think you're probably right. And we'll ask you about that in a moment. Just looking back there at, at Strong Johnson's win, he's a nice horse, this, isn't he? He's very, very consistent. He's very consistent, um, Laura, I have to say. And I suppose whatever way the handicapper would treat him, he'd probably get another bounce for that. But he's working. His time yesterday was 58 seconds for the um, for the furlongs with a wind on their back now, I have to say. But still... Yeah, he's probably a listed horse, you know. He'd be a horse for the future because he's improving all the time, he's growing, and he's starting to learn about the game. But in fairness, I'd have to say that the jockey, Colin Keane, is a fabulous jockey, and um, he waited until uh, the weights went up um, five pounds, which is his weight, eight stone nine. And um, the minute he gave us the call, and so we were all delighted because he knows him so well. And really, he did lift him the last 20, 20 yards, I'd say, you know. He lifted him yesterday. Definitely. What plans would you have for this horse now? Will it depend on what the handicapper does or will you look to move up in grade? Um, we'd probably look to see what the handicapper treats him, you know, I have to say. But, uh, uh, he's, uh, I, I, I really, to be quite honest with you, he's improving all the time. So we're hoping to get him up there maybe like what a challenge. Who knows? Um, uh, it was this, The Rockingham is normally a very, it's a great sprint race anyway. And it's, it's a real teller of where we're going and maybe he'd work into an air goal cup horse or you wouldn't know I, I could see him getting an extra furlong as well you know oh, okay plenty of options for him then and yeah. later in the week i see you've got quite a few entered in in maidens anything we should be looking looking out for you would de definitely we have um i have we have a horse that i got off a of dr tant from singapore called inflection point and he goes to Belliestown on thursday now this horse was probably a bit unlucky the other day in nice um, it looked like he was going to win, but he just probably hit the front a bit too soon. And we're going to ride it different this Thursday and drop him in behind and just land him on the line. And um, we also the same day we got beaten ahead with a filly there, a two-year-old filly uh, by Dandy Man. Her name has gone out of my head, but she runs on Sunday at Cork on the 5th of July. She's our only runner down in Cork, so I would expect her to go that one closer this time, you know, isn't it? And what about... Um, and what about Woodford Amazing. General, who won at Nace for you recently? Any any plans there? I'm sorry uh, about Laura, but we, uh, we, we got a big offer from Hong Kong for him after the race, and uh, we took it. We sold him, you know. Oh, OK. Because, uh, hence, hence why we're building a new barn. That, <laughs> <laughs> that's what I was going to ask you, because you also sold daughter-in-law last year. Are you still a yard who's very much trying to win maidens and, and sell them on, or do you hope to get away from that in due course? Uh, and to be honest, Laura, I, I hope to get away from it in due form, but uh, unfortunately with all my trips, I've been 25 or 27 years away, and when I came back then and we realised that um, to start up going again, we have to buy and sell, being a small stable, but I, 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 I was lucky that I bought about six or seven um, yearlings last year, the year before last, and they all have come good now. So I'm going to go back to the urine sale this year, and I would hope to buy plenty. I, I want to buy about 15 or 20 urines this year. Because if you've noticed in Ireland at the moment, and even the current maiden yesterday or the day before, there was only five runners in the race. There's not mm -hmm. many two-year-olds around running, you know. So, you so I, I, I definitely plan to buy urines this year because um, we have a fantastic gallop here uh, out in Monaster Evan. We're about 15 minutes off the current. 
And the gallop is for speed. We can put speed into the two-year-old. So the jump, if you know his daughter and a lot of jump and go efforts, you know what I mean? And uh, George Cornelius and horses like this, they were all front runners. And we seem to be able to get good speed into them at home. So hence we bring it to the racetrack then, you know. And how far will you search for the yearlings? Will you go abroad or will you mostly concentrate on the sales at home? No, I will definitely go to America this year. Uh, the second week in America, because I couldn't afford the first week at Keene, and I'd go the second week, and um, I, I would buy a couple there, and I will do my usual guffs, guffs and the uh, results. It's hard work, that, um, but Laura, it's, they're there. There's great value at the sales, and especially this year, I think, it'd be great value for, uh, for people even in Dubai to invest if they want. We have a, we're building a new barn here. So please come and talk to us. Come and talk to us. Oh, well, if I do make it over to Ireland, which at the moment is looking more likely than England, I'll definitely come and, come and have a look at, at the barn. Many thanks, Danny, and well done and to you and Kieran and, and the whole team. And uh, best of luck later on in the week. Thanks a million, Laura. And it's great, great to talk to you. Keep in touch. Thank you.